Today we're going to talk about treating lateral hip pain or greater trochanteric pain syndrome. Lateral hip pain is frequently caused by trochanteric bursitis and associated with gluteal tendinosis. First line treatment options include non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, corticosteroid injections, and occasionally biologic injections. Despite adequate treatment, many patients with chronic gluteal tendinosis continue to have recalcitrant pain. Tenjet, a needle-like device developed by Hydrocision, allows us to definitively deal with the patient's chronic tendinosis in a minimally invasive procedure with ultrasound guidance. The patient is placed in a lateral position with a pillow between their legs for comfort. They're draped and prepped in a sterile fashion. The procedure is performed under ultrasound guidance to visualize both the pathologic tissue as well as to position the Tenjet device. With ultrasound, I scan the tendon in an axial and longitudinal view to identify and confirm the location of the pathology in the gluteus medius tendon as it wraps around the greater trochanter. Areas of hypoechoic tissue can be seen on ultrasound and are accompanied by hyperechoic calcification within the tendon. 20 to 30 cc's of lidocaine without epinephrine is then administered through the planned surgical tract and to the gluteus medius tendon. I will often use this opportunity to hydrodissect the overlying tissue with lidocaine to better visualize the tendon. The patient is draped and prepped to disinfect the surgical site and create a sterile field. A skin wheel is placed at the puncture site and using an 11 blade scalpel, I make a small stab incision. I guide the tenjet needle towards the pathology and when my device is in the proper position, I depress the foot pedal to deliver a high velocity stream of saline to debride and evacuate the diseased tissue from the site. As the procedure is performed, you can see the area of hypo-intense signal decreasing within the tendon. This corresponds with less resistance on tactile feedback with the device. I also use a gentle pistoning motion forward and backwards to reach all the pathology that is causing pain for the patient. After three to five minutes of debridement with Tenjet, I scan the tendon again to confirm that I have reached all the disease pain-inducing tissue. Looking at the ultrasound, I can see a very uniformed appearance of the tendon and a reduction in the thickening which we saw in the tendon previously. Since the procedure is performed through a stab incision, there is no need for sutures. I place steri strips over the incision, which is then covered with a tegaderm. The percutaneous tenotomy procedure using Tenjet has become a standard of care for patients with lateral hip pain in my office. Patients have found a significant improvement in their quality of life with reduction in their pain level and resolution of previous chronic lateral hip pain.